can the Hyperloop really get you from San Francisco to LA in half an hour and for 20 bucks? Elon Musk says yes and he wants your feedback. When Scott first told you guys about Elon Musk's plans for the Hyperloop, the super high-speed capsules carrying passengers from SF to LA in less time than it takes to fly, your comments ranged from excited to super excited to mm, healthy skepticism over whether this was really possible. Well, Musk, who is also the chairman and CEO of Tesla, is serious enough about the project to have revealed a 57-page proof of concept for the Hyperloop design, after teasing the media with tweets about staying up all night finalizing the proposal. But sure enough, Monday afternoon, a blog post appeared on on teslamotors.com with the proposal. Right off the bat, placing the Hyperloop in contrast to existing plans to build a high-speed rail in California, which Musk has called disappointing. Instead, Musk says his system is, among other things, safer, cheaper, faster, more convenient, and weather immune. But what does that look like and how could it actually work? Well, it would consist of a low-pressure, elevated steel tube all along the route and capsules carrying 28 people each that are supported by a cushion of air as they travel. The capsules are accelerated through a magnetic linear accelerator situated at various stations. The total trip time from LA to SF would be approximately half an hour, with capsules departing as often as every 30 seconds. The plans estimate the cost per trip per person at 20 bucks. And additionally, a larger system has been imagined that can transport not just people and their luggage, but also their cars, called Passenger Plus. Inside the passenger-only capsules, you get your own seat with an entertainment system, but not a whole lot of headroom, according to preliminary sketches. The capsules would travel at speeds of nearly 800 miles per hour. How can they achieve that speed? Well, Musk says that the primary source of power can be solar, with extensive power backed up in a grid. For propulsion, the Hyperloop uses linear accelerators of various sizes, smaller ones for shorter trips, larger ones that can get north of 700 miles per hour for the LA-SF connection. As for the route, it's designed to avoid bend radii, i.e. turns that would not be fun for passengers traveling at 700 plus mile per hour, even with that air cushion. And in the plans, other nightmare scenarios are addressed, like capsules getting stuck in the tube, and yes, earthquakes. So a project of this scale has to be super expensive, right? Not so much, Musk says. He estimates the cost of the passenger system at less than $6 billion and the passenger plus one at just $7.5 billion. By contrast, a business plan for the California high-speed rail estimates its final cost at many times that, $68 billion for phase one connecting LA and SF. Still a little skeptical? Well, Musk invites you to look at the plans yourself and provide feedback describing the process as open source. We'll leave the link in the show notes below if you want to take a look for yourself. So do these plans make it seem more feasible to you or does it seem like a pipe dream still? Let us know in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie.